Ali Moran. And the cast are raised by Wolves will be it. Friends star Matthew Perry will be on this over. And Philip Schofield's in the house. It was the Oscars on Sunday night. Yes. Leonardo DiCaprio won best. <laughs> He's not here tonight, love. He's not here tonight. <laughs> there were rumours that Leonardo DiCaprio was sexually assaulted by the bear in The Revenant. <laughs> or am I getting confused with Nicole Kidman and Alexandra Meerkat in that compare the Meerkat? <laughs> it was one of them, weren't it? One of them. Mad Max Fury Road won the most awards. <laughs> it did so well that property prices on Fury Road have skyrocketed. Seriously, <laughs> I've seen Phil and Kirsty sniffing around. Kirsty, <laughs> Kirsty, <laughs> That's my impression of it. <laughs> Brie Larson won Best Actress for Room. I love, <laughs> I love Brie, but then I have a soft spot for any girl named after a cheese. <laughs> My second wife was called Cathedral City. Kathy, for sure. <laughs> yeah, after she took the house and the divorce, it was Laughing Cow, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I won't talk about that. <laughs> of course, at the Oscars, there was the big diversity scandal. Can I just say something? Seriously, I was disgusted. And I think I speak for all of us when I say I don't care if an actor is black, white, male or female. <laughs> As long as they're not bent. <laughs> oh, can't stick them. Can't stick them. <laughs> <laughs> the European referendum campaigns have been hotting up. You all excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Channel 4 have told me I have to appear impartial. Impartial. I'm struggling to appear to give a shit. <laughs> No, no, it's nice for once to be asked, are you in or out, and it's not during sex. <laughs> I can't believe they're going to be dragging it out for 16 weeks. But it's 16 weeks! The BBC dealt with the whole of War and Peace in six! <laughs> it's too boring, isn't it? It's too boring. They could at least make it more fun and give us a third voting option, like in... Ow. Oh, Reggie and Bowley. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what about Cheryl and Liam from 1D becoming an item? <laughs> Good for Cheryl. What better way to get over a failed relationship than to hook up with a boy band member? I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, look at me. I'm still working my way through Blazing Squad. <laughs> It'll never last. Celebrity relationships only work out if you put the names together, like Brangelina. I mean, Leryl. <laughs> Sounds like a cream for women's issues, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's true. What a lineup we have for you tonight. He's the nation's favourite silver fox and the man who, when it comes to drinking, puts the fill in fill your boots. Yes, Philip Schofield is back in the room. <laughs> and back on my sofa. The stars of the hit Channel 4 sitcom Raised by Wolves will be meeting the star who was raised by Wolf from Gladiator. That's me. <laughs> and there'll be music when the 1975 will be performing live right here later. <laughs> but first, he swapped La La Land for Theatre Land and was the best thing to have come out of Friends since my Rachel haircut. Go nuts, go wild for the brilliant Matthew Perry! <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to
the chatty man. Thank you very much. Well, what a great way to kick off the new series, haven't you, on my sofa? Yes, and we... I was going to wear the same outfit. Was you? Yeah. Do you like them? They're not too much, are they? No, I think they're red, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, let me get you a drink. What do you want? You want? I've got Capri Sun, I've got a Tithe, I've got Ribena. Well, if I have the wrong drink, this whole building would explode. Oh, I know. So yes, I need to have a Yeah. All yeah. right, great. <laughs> That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're over at the moment doing a play, which I saw last night, yes. which was absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank you very much. You wrote the play. So I explain did. to people what it's about if they haven't seen it yet. OK, well, the play The End of Longing is about four sort of lost souls in their 30s and 40s four broken people trying to find love and romance. Mm. And it really appeals to uh, sort of the French generation, actually. Yeah. It appeals to people in their 30s and their 40s. And It's a darker Friends, isn't it? It's the... Well, yeah, you weren't allowed to say all those words on Friends. <laughs> no, 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 not. not I so, counted yeah. the amount of F-words yeah. in the play. Yeah. And would you like to guess how many there are? Oh, about... Um... 20? 100 and, 132. No way. Yeah. What's your favourite swear word? I gotta press a button to say that, right? Where's yeah, the, yeah button? the button was here, but. Oh, right here. Okay, let's go. Okay. In real life, I'm not that much of a potty mouth. Because in the play, you're like. <laughs> you <laughs> right. There's a lot of swearing in the I'm play. Kick it's you a very. Right in the I was in a very <laughs> dark, dark mood when I wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favourite swear word? My favourite swear word is. That's a good one. Yeah. Because no, we actually love swearing in, uh, in Britain, and I don't know if you saw the Brits, but Adele swore, oh, yeah. and the man, he bleeped out, he left the fuck in. Did you see that? <laughs> so you're allowed on TV to say the word you just said? That's yeah, allowed? fuck it! <laughs> But you can swear you can't in America, can no, you? No, you can't say those words in America on TV. No. no. You can't say fuck on... on yeah, you can. But I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's a bit nice. Isn't yeah, it nice? Isn't it nice? It really it's, is fun it's to liberating. say. It's liberating. Yeah. It's a good word. Yeah. Uh, how much of your character, Jack, is based on you? Cos can you... T that story that's in it about the porno and the stereo... Oh, yes. Was that true? That is true. When I was 25 years old, <laughs> at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon one day, I decided to watch some porn. <laughs> I watched it for about... I really wanted to take my time with it. <laughs> so I was watching it for about a half an hour. <clears throat> and everything came to its conclusion. <laughs> and I immediately, as you do with porn, wanted to to turn it off as soon as I was done. Because <laughs> I'd be like, oh, God, i got to turn this off. <laughs> I don't know how something so intriguing can be so disgusting two seconds later. <laughs> uh, that's the case. And so I went to turn it off, and it wouldn't shut off. It wouldn't go off. <laughs> and I didn't want to get up because I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> so I didn't want to get up and turn it off. What I decided to do was turn the volume down because it was really the sound that was driving me crazy. <laughs> so I pushed the volume button down on the remote control and I could see the nozzle on the wall unit go all the way down to zero, but I could still hear it. And that's when I remembered that the night before I'd been sitting in my backyard drinking a martini and listening to music. And that's when I realized that for the last half hour I'd been blasting a porn into my <laughs> At 2 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. <laughs> it was really terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because um, uh, there's a lot of jokes in there about Jack and his alcoholism, and you've yeah. had a drink problem yourself. Yeah, that's funny to talk about. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you. You and your alcoholism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
when you were writing it, was it like cathartic? Was it therapeutic? Or were you like, oh, whoa, whoa I don't know if I want to go back? No, there. it was. It's not autobiographical, though. It's not right. about me. It's about a much different type of drunk. Uh, mm -hmm. But I have very well documented alcohol issues in my life that, yeah. have, that have been resolved, thank God. But this character is very flamboyant and very outward about his drinking. Mm -hmm. You see him go through the road of demise of that lifestyle. So it, you, our goal here, actually, with the play, in all seriousness, is to make you laugh and to make you cry. Yeah. And a lot of people have been doing both. In the play, Jack worries about what his life's going to be without drink. You've been sober for years now. How do you find it? Is it better? Do you still have urges and stuff? Or? Um, well, that's not a private question. <laughs> No, life is much better this no, way. No, I don't. I'm going to pry and somebody's just in. No, life is much better good, this way. Good, good. Yes. Now, listen, I'm sure you're sick to death talking about it, but can we talk about friends? Sure. Yeah. Can we? <laughs> do you have any idea how big Friends was over here? I do, because we came to London to shoot two episodes of Friends, and it was... The six of us wandering around London was pretty serious. I mean, people were very excited yeah. about it. Uh, so it was probably bigger here than it actually was in the States. Really? Yeah. Because they played it on E4, didn't they, all the bloody time? <laughs> it's still on all the time. Yeah. But... That's why fans come up to me now and, and wonder why I look so old. <laughs> Are you Chandler's dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, everyone's got a favourite episode of Friends, and mine was the one with the thumb from series one. So let's have a look at a clip. This is Monica introducing her new boyfriend, Alan, to the rest of the gang <laughs> in the brilliant Friends. Who is it? Alan. Chandler! He's here! Oh. Please be good. Okay, remember how much you all like me? <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Alan, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Alan. Sorry I'm late. My Bev got it by a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all laughing now. That's not funny. Because <laughs> of a back legs removed replaced with wheels. Why are people laughing? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> make me sick. <laughs> well, I guess this is good, but... the same way again. Now, where's those olives? <laughs> you couldn't write it. No, the way his smile was kind of crooked. You try growing up with a smile like a war crime. <laughs> so funny. I'd marry him just for his David Hasselhoff impression alone. <laughs> Another week, there was a big Friends reunion on American TV. How gutted that you weren't there. Well, it was tough to not be there uh, because I'm here doing the play. Yeah. So it and was you weren't okay. like a snub or anything. You're doing a play. You can't just leave. No, a play. and I pre-taped something for it, yeah, and yeah. I was involved in 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 a way. It would have been nice to see the old gang again. But yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to do that. Now you may have missed out on the Friends reunion, but don't worry because tonight we're going to be holding an unofficial Friends reunion right. Here in the Chatty Man studio. Okay. Come with me. Come on. Now, you haven't seen him in more than 10 years, but look who's here tonight. It's your lazy boy, Angus, from the show. Oh, my God. Look at this. All right. Now, Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, David Schwimmer, and Courtney Cox will be here shortly. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, there are severe delays on the tube. It sounds like we can crack on without them. They'll probably be here. All right. Now, we have got one of my favourite characters here, though, from the one with the giant poking device. It's Ugly Naked Guy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and that's not all, because can we also have a change man Ravrabrook for Joey and Chalmers' pet duck? Look at that! That's a real duck. Yeah, a real duck. 
Can I see the fat naked guy again? <laughs> Ross's pet monkey, Marcel, also wanted to be here tonight, but have you seen this? He's on a modelling shoot with Kendall Jenner. <laughs> Nobody works more than that monkey. Yeah. That monkey is always working. Yeah. That's also the monkey from Outbreak, the movie Outbreak. No way! Yes. Who's his agent? I don't know. I, we need to get him. Yeah! yeah. Um, so, say you ever do new episodes of Friends, how hard's that going to be now Matt LeBlanc's hosting Top Gear over here? Uh, it's very exciting, a job for him, because he loves cars, so he's, he must be thrilled. I haven't spoken to him since he booked the gig, but yeah. he's going to be great at doing that. Um, according to the papers, it's all going tits up behind the scenes at Top Gear, so I thought I'd help Matt out and come up with some new ideas. Yeah? OK. Yeah. Forget the star in a reasonably priced car. This is Alan Carr in a reasonably comfy armchair. Do you want to see my lap of the studio? Uh-huh. Let's do this! Come on! Come on! Come on! Get him fucking away! Get him fucking away! Get him fucking away! Fucking hell! Fucking away! So you basically have a lot of free time. <laughs> Yeah. This is what I do. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, good luck with the rest of the end along. And how much longer is it on for? It's on until May 14th. It's absolutely brilliant. It's at the Playhouse Theatre. Give it up for Matthew Perry, everyone. Thank you. And television sexiest silver fox, Philip Schofield, and the 1975 will be here later. But don't go anywhere because after break, I'll be chatting to the very funny stars of Channel 4's hit sitcom, Raised by Wolves. See you in part two. <laughs> Welcome back. Philip Schofield will be dropping by and there'll be music from the 1975 in just a bit. But first, give it up for the stars of Channel 4's hit sitcom. It's the funniest view of the Midlands since Adrian Charles looked in the back of a spoon. <laughs> from Rose by Wolves, it's Catelyn Moran, Rebecca Staten, Alexa Davis, Helen Monks and Molly Rister! <laughs> Like a kind of little girls allowed. Yeah. But that's little. Why is it so funny? Yeah. <laughs> now I saw on Twitter you were buzzing your tits off about being on the same show as Matthew Perry. Yes, very difficult to cope. I mean, the atmosphere backstage for everybody was just like, he's real and he's here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you like when you meet mega stars like me, though? What are you like? Do you get <laughs> Do you get a bit freaked out? I feel quite excited to meet you, Alan. Mm, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like it's going to go all right. Oh. <laughs> Am I everything you thought I would be? <laughs> and more. Oh, <laughs> when I found out that we got this series, I went home to my housemates in Sheffield and the first thing that they did was burst into tears and I thought it's because they were so excited about the show, but all they were saying was, you're going to go on Chatty Man and meet Alan Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Yeah, they're very excited. Do you want to touch me? Luckily, <laughs> 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 I do bleed. <laughs> Who's the most famous person you've met? Yeah, yeah, I've spent 20 years being terrible at meeting famous people. I started when I was 16 and I'd been taught at home, so I didn't really have any friends, I'd never been out of the house, and suddenly I was a journalist oh. and you just got to meet famous people. Oh. And I had no idea how to do it. I spent 10 years, uh, first of all, trying to, be, uh, trying to sleep with them. Uh, <laughs> 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 Very degrees of success. Um, and I went to interview Lady Gaga. Um, yeah. I'd spent years just thinking people would just say, I want to be your friend. And I met Gaga and she went, I like you. Would you like to come to a sex club in Berlin with me? <gasps> and I was like, yes. yes. So, she, so she managed to get rid of the paparazzi. We turn up at this sex club and you walk in. And it, I'd never been to a sex club before, but it was a very, very sexy sex club. People were like doing it everywhere. Oh, there. no. And in <laughs> baths and in chains. And it was just, oh. it was all quite visceral. So then we proceeded to get very, very drunk. And four hours later, we're sitting there and she's got her head on my lap. And I'm telling her why I love her, because that seems to be the right thing to do. <laughs> and then she looks up and goes, Catelyn, do you want to come to the toilet with me? 
And by this point, I was like sort of 36 years old. I'm a mum of two. Mm. And I'm thinking, this is to go and do bad things, isn't it? This is drugs. And I, I don't even know how you do drugs anymore. Maybe young people put them through their eyes. I don't know how, <laughs> how this is going to happen. I'm very scared. But I go to the yeah. toilets with her because you must always go to the toilet when Lady Gaga asks you to. Of course, of course you and, do. Um, and we go in there and she says, and I'm sort of like, where are the drugs? And she goes, no, 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 I just noticed you've got a zip on the back of your dress and you might need some help to undo it. So oh. I thought I'd bring you here. So oh. I'm like, oh, that's very nice of you. But then she unzips me and then I have to take the dress off and sit and do a wee in front of her <laughs> oh. whilst chatting. And I don't oh. really know what to say to her. I'm sort of like, are the decor's nice in here, a kind of like <laughs> lovely weather we're yeah. having. Did you see the bombing in the bath? Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and then I look around and there's no toilet paper and I'm like, what do I do? And at this point you realise the difference between mega stars and normal people because she just looks at the big pile of fluffy towels and goes, wipe on this. <laughs> and, and so I do a little dab and kind of, you know, pull myself back together yeah. and then she sits down to do a wee and... Uh, You're in there with her while she's wee. She, she's like, I'm going to go next. And she doesn't take her tights down or her, or her pants down, she just pulls the pants to one side, wees through her fishnets and then, and then she doesn't wipe at all, not even on a towel, she just gives her cabbage a shake. <laughs> oh my God. Stands up and we walk out again. Oh, lovely, <laughs> my God! She does it through her tights. Yeah. Because, you know, she was on our show a few series ago and she was in, like, this dress that looked like, like, you know, like a green sperm and she couldn't take it off <laughs> to go to the toilet and she pissed in a bin. <gasps> Weed in a bin. <laughs> there was no room for her lettuce to shake. <laughs> Now, we've got to talk about the second series of Raised by Wolves, started on Channel 4 last night. <laughs> now, for anyone at home who thinks Raised by Wolves is a Channel 5 reality show about feral children... It is. Explain to the audience, Wagwan. OK, well, I'd like to pretend that it was something that we sort of blue-skied and we looked at demographics that weren't being served and then we sort of sat down and spat all stuff, but I basically just got my diaries out from when I was 13 um, and, and took it to Channel 4 and went, look, this will be cheaper than Downton Abbey and <laughs> do you want to have a go on it and, yeah. and they said yes so oh. yeah so it's it's basically we were me uh, and the elders of eight children we were home educated by parents who were hippies in home educated yes we sat and watched classic MGM musicals and invented a lot of very high calorie snacks okay rather than learning to read and write yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> broken Britain two words <laughs> broken Britain <laughs> Well, let's have a look at a sneak peek from the new series. This is Della kicking some ass around the house in the brilliant Raised by Wolves. What's going on? Why is that child in the sink? Are you drinking maple syrup? Where's your mother? She's at work, Grampy. Is she now? It's about time I had a day without your mum's ball lake. Ooh, she does hop old hoover the sluice that. Yep, yep, yep. What was that, Dad? I was uh, just telling the kids how uh, you're working like a blue-ass fly to pay for this lot. Not quite, Dad. A blue-ass fly only lives for three days. Then it dies and gets a holiday. I've been doing this shit for 16 years. Get your asses down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for finding clips because it's just so... <laughs> yeah, it's, you're right, you're right. I mean, it was, it's so nostalgic. I know, I know, obviously, it's based now, but your child does have child, especially in Wolverhampton, because, of course, I grew up in Northampton. It's not the Midlands. I just... Were you thinking that you could... <laughs> up the of Alliance? Yeah, no, sorry, we would... Let's go for a wee together. <laughs> Maybe that... Watch me shake my lettuce and think. <laughs> Have you any of you from the Midlands, too? I'm from the Midlands. Oh, yeah. Is the Manda Centre still there? Oh, they're upgrading it now. They're upgrading it? Yeah. What was wrong with it? Oh, it's just a bit old now, I think. They're doing all fancy bits to it. I went in the toilets the other day and they're all being done out and... <gasps> Oh, it's Lady Gaga in there shaking her neck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Midlands are having a moment, aren't they? Yes. They are. You've got Peaky Blinders, your show, Liam from 1D going out with Cheryl, yeah. Alison Hammond. It's... <laughs> <laughs> It's all about the Midlanders, isn't it? It's a brum It's a brum How fabulous. Well, I can tell you, when I left Rada, nobody was looking for this accent. Yeah. <laughs> so I pretended I was Northern. Really? Yeah, well, they did, I just wasn't going to work with it, unfortunately. People weren't making Raised by Wolves, um, so I opted to be Northern. I think there's still the stigma as well, because you say Liam, but 
I think until celebrity singers sing in a Wolverhampton accent, it doesn't count. Because <laughs> yes. you know how you've got like <laughs> Lily Allen doing it for the south and the Arctic yeah. Monkeys doing it for the north? You'd never have. You don't know you're beautiful. Although, actually, I quite like that. Yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. um, there's been a lot of talk about the sexism and diversity at the Oscars this year, but I want to talk about another form of discrimination. You never hear a Midlands accent in any of these Hollywood films, do you? Why, why is that? Why is that, Alan? I think it's brummism. <laughs> well, I think uh, things have to change. So I thought we should oh. redo some classic lines from some classic films <laughs> in our best black country accents, OK? Yeah, Are you up for this? A million percent. OK. Well, here's your first one's Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Who wants to do that? Oh, well, Come I on. You can do great, Dorothy. OK. Yeah. Your lines on the auto cue. Just look straight down camera one. Oh, oh you're oh, so oh, pretty! You look adorable! Oh, I can't take it. <laughs> oh. Toto. I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Who's going to do a Brammy Sharon Stone in Basic I Instinct? Oh, my God, it's not... Oh, yeah. no, I'm not sure <laughs> about this. Please don't open your legs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Charge me for smoking? <laughs> that's quite sexy! Yeah. That's quite sexy. Exactly. Now, we've got Elsa from Frozen. Who wants to give her a Brammy? <laughs> <over? laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's perfect with that. Is. <laughs> this is a children's film, thank you. Very much. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. <laughs> Let the storm rage on. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the rest of Raised by Wall. It's absolutely brilliant. It's on when's it on again? Uh, Wednesday, 10 o'clock, Channel 4. Fantastic. Give it up for Catelyn Moran, Rebecca Stayan, Alexa Davis, <laughs> Helen Lund, and Molly Rickard, everyone. After the break, I'll be chatting to Philip Schofer that the 1975 will be performing. See you in part three. <laughs> Welcome back. There'll be music from the 1975 and I'll be shredding the Brits later. But first, he's the hard-drinking host of your Back in the Room, who always does his best to put me back in the clinic. <laughs> Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. For Philip Schofield! <laughs> Now, listen, you and Ollie might be allowed to present this morning when you're pissed, but we're not on Chatty Man. We promote responsible drinking. <laughs> Breathe into that, please. <laughs> Thank you. You are off your head. No, you're not. <laughs> No, no, well done. Well to be done for arriving well, on a show yes. sober. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I saw you on the telly. How pissed were you? Yeah, pretty. Yeah, because <laughs> you, were, you were struggling. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, something of a mistake. I mean, these sort of things happen. I felt so sorry for you in the morning. When you said coming up, I didn't know if it was item or your breakfast. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> The pictures that you saw in the papers were taken about four minutes before we went live. Yeah. And I said to Holly... What? <laughs> <laughs> I said to Holly, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. We shouldn't be doing this. No. I've got to say, it's nice to see you suffering for a bit. It was nice to see you, cos you know what I mean? You... You know I fell in the lake, didn't I? Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you got me pissed when I came on this morning and I forgot the name of my own show. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? As you said... Can I just stop you? Oh, no, what's How that? How many times have I come on the show? Oh, four or five. Where's, where's oh, me, my God! Where's me bloody <laughs> drum? Oh, my God! <laughs> I've had a couple of months off. We've moved to a Thursday. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, 
What have you got? Oh, tequila. But I'm on antibiotics. <laughs> you are what? <laughs> I'm on antibiotics. <laughs> Why are you on antibiotics? My IBS has flared up. The <laughs> <laughs> questions you wish you'd never asked. <laughs> 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 you could have been an idiot. I should have been an idiot. Why am I too honest? Why am I too honest? I should have said, oh, you know, trapped wind. Well, yeah, but, so... you, but you'll have. <laughs> <laughs> but will I shit myself if I have to go? Shall we see? <laughs> I'll improve those pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have, even though I'm on antibiotics and it could kill me, the doctor said. <laughs> It'd be great telly, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll be straight in that seat. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know what you're like. Like a rat of a drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you're going, hi, it's the Scoville show, me in the background being dragged off. <laughs> Get you out of the seat. <laughs> right. OK, I'm having one, even though I'm on antibiotics, OK? <laughs> Just cos it's you. OK. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Up your bum. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you bum. The top of arm down. Right. We've got to talk about the new series of you back in the room. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you want to explain what it's about for anyone who hasn't seen it before? It is... So, principally, this is it's a... a game it's show. a game show. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a group of complete strangers who are yeah. all working together as a team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're working together as a team. I've had nothing to eat today. <laughs> Um, and so the, the, the prize fund is £25,000 and yeah. through a series of games they try to get as much money as they possibly can. Mm. But the catch is they are hypnotised. Mm. And so they actively work against themselves and each other to get the money. And so they will do anything. But as a host, there, you can't control it. There is no control. We had one moment where we'd been making fast food and... Uh, and I'd managed to stay out of the way. I had one, had one suit for the show. Oh, I'd God. stayed out of the way. And they're squirting all the stuff. Um, and then they went back to Keith. And he put them back under. And he said, uh, when you come round, you'll... Because you'll, they're hypnotised all the way through. Yeah. You will um, wonder why you're covered in mustard and ketchup. And when you wake up, you will realise that it's all Philip's fault. <laughs> <laughs> and so, when they woke up, <laughs> one woman looked at me, yeah. pointed, and they advanced across the studio, all of them, yeah. like a bloody mob. Yeah. <laughs> picked up the ketchup yeah. and the mustard and went for me. And I was absolutely yeah. covered. Wrecked the suit. I think it must have looked like these trousers. Very similar. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's have a look at a clip. This is Phil in action in the new series of The Brilliant. You're back in the room. Yeah, what have you been doing here? Yeah, you have some, man. Oh! You have some, lot. Yeah, you have some. Do you do it like that? No! No, 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 no. Make it stop! No, Make no, it no, stop! No, no. Eyes on me, eyes on me. Sleep standing, sleep standing. Keep the straight your legs. Sleep standing. Sleep standing. Sleep standing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, if you're back in the room in the cube, you are the current king of TV game shows, isn't he? Yeah. I've been working on an idea for a game show of my own. <laughs> uh, would you be up for giving it a go and telling me if you think I've got a hit on my hands? Yes, of course. OK, well, let's do this. Let's play Drink While You Think. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, I'm Alan Carr and welcome to a brand new series of Drink While You Think. Tonight's contestant is Philip. Where are you from, Philip, and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm from London and I work in television. <laughs> now, Philip, to win some amazing prizes, all you've got to do is answer a series of multiple choice questions about your specialist subject. Yourself. <laughs> 
Yeah. It sounds easy, but there's a twist because you're going to be wearing one of these. All you've got to do is suck on the straw that you think is the right answer. If you guess correctly, you'll get a drink of water and win an American prize. If you get the answer wrong, you're going to end up drinking <laughs> some horrible red crap that I found in my globe. Got it? <laughs> so let's play. Drink while you sing. <laughs> It's like dancing on ice. That <laughs> <laughs> <Like> moon. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. <laughs> you are off your face. I know. Right, question one. We're playing for the dishwasher. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is on the card. I'm not going to say it. That is on the card. OK, it's time for your first question. Right. In the 90s, you starred as Joseph in Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat yes. in the West End. But according to the song, how many colours were there in the coat? Was it A26, B27, C28, D29? <coughs> Or oh, maybe we should sing it to help him. I know it. Ruby Red and Olive and, and yellow <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, and no, that's not the Joseph song. <laughs> <laughs> no. Red, oh, yellow, that's green, that's brown, 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 scarlet, brown. black, <laughs> ochre, peach, <laughs> ruby, <laughs> olive, violet, thorn, lilac, gold, chocolate, mauve, cream, crimson, <laughs> silver, rose, azure, lemon, russet, grey, purple, white, pink and orange and blue. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to go for A. It's wrong, it's 29, it's D. Okay. D. I don't know. <laughs> Is it coming? <laughs> oh, shit. Who <laughs> oh, designed this shit? <laughs> it's all right. What, what did, did you know? What on game the... show do you have a shallow end? <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're going to change the hat. I'll just put the other one on. Right, thank you. This is... That's still running, Alan. I know it is. All down my crotch. <laughs> Looks like I've pissed myself. <laughs> this is the best game I have I ever know. played. Would, would you watch this? Would you watch this on the telly? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, love this. I love this audience. They are... OK, right, OK, right. This is the last question. This is for the caravan, OK? <laughs> How many days would it take you to binge watch every episode of this morning you've ever presented back to back? To the nearest day, and you're not allowed to fast forward through the adverts. Is it A, 73 days, B, 83 days, C, 93 days, or D, 103 days? This is binge watching. I am gonna, I reckon it's a long time. So I'm gonna go for D. Have a suck, let's see if you're right. <laughs> I think that should be the publicity for your new game show. Yeah. <laughs> it's water! That's the right answer! You've won a caravan! <laughs> I'll just <laughs> swim over to the auto queue. <laughs> We've got to take a break there, love. Join us again in a couple of minutes when I'll be chatting some more with Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seeing the local doctor. <laughs> and the 1975 will be playing live and we'll be shredding the Brits. See you in part four. <laughs> Oh, look who's still here. It's only Philip Bloom in Schofield. <laughs> and that's not all, because look who else is here. It's only the night in Blinking 75. <laughs> Thank you. I thought we were all going to meet up at the Brits. Why don't we meet up? Well, it was funny, actually. We um, didn't get uh, nominated or invited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So we just, <laughs> left, so we just left it. Yeah. You just yeah. don't leave it. Yeah, it's our day. Probably yeah. best in that circumstance. Exactly. But um, we, so we weren't there. I think we might have had a gig on the night. A lot of people on Twitter were saying Adele sounded more and more like me every time she went up. Did yeah. you think that? Yes. Yes. Really. Separated at birth. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't... I, I genuinely don't get it myself. I mean, I've got the... This is Adele. You're probably getting fucking bored of me anyway. And this is me. You probably get fucking bored of me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> this is Adele, this is Adele. Not bad for a girl from Tottenham who don't like flying, getting global success. This is me. Not bad for a girl from Tottenham, can't stand flying, getting global success. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, this is me. It was just like a movie. And this is Adele. <laughs> just like a movie. <laughs> it was just like a star. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's me off a Christmas card list. <laughs> uh, now, your album's going to number one this week. We'll see. <laughs> it is. It's outselling everyone in the top five. Is that right? It seems to be, but you just did that Adele thing, and I reckon that'll definitely get her some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it will, love. <laughs> and your album's called I Like It When You Sleep, for you're so beautiful, you... <laughs> 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 I love it the way that you say it. You yeah. say it again. Yeah. Do the ad for it. You know, I like, like it when you sleep, for you are so beautiful, yet so unaware of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's beautiful. I love it. But a little bit creepy. Yes. It is creepy, isn't it? We thought there wasn't enough album Four titles six. that are pretentious and creepy. <laughs> so we saw a gap in the market, there, we love. thought... <laughs> Do that. <laughs> and here, Phil, you're going on tour as well. What's this all about? Oh, wow. I didn't know you knew about that. Oh, you are good. Something nice, is it? <laughs> yes. Not becoming a stripper, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> It's nights of music. You know, there's a mate of mine said, do you miss the theatre? And I said, I really, really miss it. And he said, would you like to do something? Why don't we do something that's fun? So we put some West End stars together, we've got a band together, and, uh, and they're going to... Uh, and it is the music of nights. Sir uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, you know, Sir Tom Jones, that sort of thing. So it's a sort of family night in the theatre. Well, you're going to perform for us now. Do you want to go and get yourself I'll ready? <laughs> you are! <laughs> 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 The stars of Race by Wolves, and of course, the one and only my drinking partner, Philip Schofield! <laughs> and now, with the sound, it's an A75!
Thank you.